XYZ Corporation is expanding their network capabilities to allow enhanced connectivity at the local offices as well as connectivity for those wishing to work remotely. In this packet tracer physical mode activity, you have been asked to assist with this plan by reviewing the current network capabilities and adding wireless functionality as required. Explore the wireless network. You will explore the wireless network and verify connectivity. Wireless and cellular signal representations are on this activity. You can turn them off by clicking View Wireless Signals on the top blue toolbar. Up here, View Wireless Signals. Click here. Now you can see the signals, click no signals and click, you can see the wireless signals. Explore the topology, you will notice that home city contains five different locations, corporate office, branch office, central office, home office and coffee shop. Central Office, Home Office, Corporate Office, Branch Office, and Coffee Shop. How are the four offices connected and what type of cables connect them? The corporate office is connected to the branch office via fiber. And uh, the corporate office is connected to the central office via fiber. This another cable. Home office is currently unconnected. Navigate inside the corporate office. Click on Corporate Office. Notice that six lightweight wireless access points are connected to the wiring closet. Okay, six lightweight access points. How are the lightweight wireless access points connected to the network? Okay, the lightweight wireless access points are connected via copper cable through the switch to the wireless LAN controller. Okay, and where is, it, where is the wireless LAN controller? Click on the wiring closet. These are the six cables, one, two, three, four, five, six, six copper, uh, copper straight through cables. The switch connects the six lightweight wireless access points to the wireless LAN controller with this connection. Navigate into the central office wiring closet. Okay, uh, back level, back level again.
click here on central office click here click on wiring closet who are the cell towers connected to the central office server These are the connections to the cell towers. The cell towers are connected using coaxial cable to central office server. Now you can see one, two, three, four, five, five coaxial cables connected to this server. But there is another cable, uh, copper straight through cable that goes to the router so the cell towers are connected to the server and then connected to this router back level now you can see the connections one two three for five five connections five connections to the to the cell towers one two three four five navigate to the branch office notice that five lightweight wireless access points are connected via copper cable to the branch switch in the wiring closet Okay, go to branch down here click on branch office let's see one two three four five five lightweight wireless access points connected using copper cables okay click on the wiring closet okay uh, one two three four five five connections the switch is then connected to the branch wireless LAN controller and now this is the connection to the wireless LAN controller down here this wireless LAN controller Cisco 3504 Verify connectivity. To verify connectivity, navigate to corporate office, corporate office wiring closet. Okay, back level. Back level. Click on corporate office wiring closet. Click the laptop desktop command prompt. Okay, click here, desktop command prompt, ping 192.168.210, branch office server. This branch server, success repeat okay very good then ping for 5 central office backbone connection central office server Okay, success, repeat.
Packet Tracer can take some time to converge. You may receive request timeout messages. However, both of the pings should eventually be successful. Okay, uh, request timeout, but then success. Success. Navigate to the home city, smartphone. Okay, back level, back level. Okay, click on this smartphone. Desktop command prompt. P172 1611. The cellular connection at the central office. Okay, cellular 172 172 success ping 182 168 110 corporate office server corporate server 192 168 110 Being one eighty two one sixty eight one ten. Okay, What are the different physical connections used between a smartphone one and the corporate office server? A smartphone to the cell tower uses cellular via wireless signals. Cell tower to the central office uses coaxial cables. The central office to the corporate office uses fiber. Add Wi-Fi connectivity to a boardroom. A new boardroom is being created within the branch office. Currently, the boardroom is in a Wi-Fi that zone. Install a new lightweight access point device to provide coverage for the new boardroom. Okay, branch office. Click, click on branch office down here. Look at this is the boardroom. The laptop inside the new boardroom has no access to a Wi Fi signal. Now you can see no signals for this laptop. Click and drag the access point on the inventory shelf to the boardroom. Okay, this is the access point on the inventory shelf and drag. Click the new access point Click modules, go to modules, drag access point power adapter, okay. this power adapter. Config tab. Okay. 
global settings name lap b6 global settings lap dash b6 uppercase under interface dot 11 radio 0 set the coverage range to 75 75 meters okay here dot 11 75 dot 0, zero. Close the window. If you have B wireless signals, you will notice that there is now coverage in the boardroom. Okay, this is the coverage. Now you can see. Okay, the coverage and um, connections copper straight through. Connect one end of the cable to gigabit interface on the new access point. Then click the rack equipment and connect the other end to the cable rack. Branch switch facet 22 interface. Okay, and select uh, connection, copper straight through, the gigabit interface on the access point, click on the closet rack, and in the rack there is a switch, is branch switch, this branch switch, and for certain 22, Okay, very good. Verify connectivity. Okay, uh, verify on the closet port 22. This is uh, 19, 20, 21, 22. This is 22, this, this cable. Branch switch for Saturn 22 connected to LIP B6. Verify connectivity in the boardroom. Click the laptop, desktop IP configuration. Okay. Back level. Click the laptop, desktop IP configuration. The laptop should now have full IPv4 configuration under IP configuration. However, the DHCP processes may take few minutes to complete. If necessary, to go between DHCP and static to resend DHCP request. Click on the laptop, static, then DHCP. Okay, verify if the laptop is connected to the access point. Go to uh, close this. Go to PC wireless. You have successfully connected to the access point. Okay, very good. IP configuration. And now you can see 
the DHCP configuration 192.168.2, 107, subnet mask, default gateway, DNS server. When IP addressing is provided, you can verify connectivity. Close the IP configuration and command prompt. Okay, and close this command prompt. Ping to the default gateway. P one eighty two one sixty eight two one. Success and ping the corporate server one eighty two one sixty eight one time. One eighty two one sixty eight one time. Success. Okay, very good. At wireless connectivity to a coffee shop in cellular that zone. A new coffee shop has opened in the home city, but there is currently no cellular service in this area. Your task is provide cellular service for customers and employees on the coffee shop. Okay, um, back level. Okay, here on um, coffee shop. Connect a new cell tower. Okay, now you can see uh, a cell tower here uh, near the coffee shop, the cell tower, and this cell tower doesn't have a connection to the central office. Navigate to home city. Okay, this is home city. Uh, notice that the cell tower next to the coffee shop is not connected to the central office. Coaxial cable. Connect one end of the coaxial serial interface on the unconnected cell tower. Then click central office, central office wiring closet, table, central office server, coaxial zero 03 interface. Okay, this is the coaxial cable, this blue uh, cable, click here, click on the tower, coaxial zero interface. Click on central office, wiring closet, and table. Remember the server is in the table and central office server, coaxial 03. Okay, very good. And click on central office to verify. This is cell tower 5, coaxial 0, central office server, coaxial 0, 03. Back level, back level. Tether a laptop to the smartphone. A remote worker wants to work at the coffee shop. Navigate to the coffee shop and then locate the smartphone and laptop on the table. Okay, go to coffee shop. Okay. Um, okay. The laptop and the smartphone. Click the smartphone, config tab, 3G, 4G. Click the smartphone config 3G, 4G verify that the smartphone has received an IP address ok it has an IP address 172.16.1.1 click DHCP refresh if necessary in my case, not necessary. Verify the smartphone has received a default gateway and DNS server address. OK, 
Okay, IP address, subnet mask. Go to settings and here you can see the default gateway and DNS server. On cellular tethering, enable Bluetooth. Okay, and here on settings, tethering Bluetooth on. Under the interface, click Bluetooth and set port status to on. Okay, click here on Bluetooth and on. Very nice. Verify that Discover Able is enabled. Discover Able on. Okay, it should be on. And now you can see the the coverage of the uh, smartphone. Okay, now you can see the the signals. Very good. And laptop, desktop, Bluetooth. Click on laptop, desktop, Bluetooth. Click here, Bluetooth. Or a status song on discover to display a smartphone one click and discover now smartphone one and click pair answer yes Bluetooth pairing pop-up message okay and pair yes Click the laptop again, the smartphone one, and click tether. Laptop again, the smartphone one, select the smartphone one, and tether. It may be necessary to move the smartphone and laptop close together for Bluetooth pairing to work. Okay, this very close, so I think it's not necessary to to do that. And now you can see pay rate connected tether access. After a few seconds, you sh should see valid addressing information in the IP configuration. If not, repeat the previous steps. Now you can see this IP address one seventy two twenty ten two and this subnet mask. This is very good. Now the laptop is connected to the smartphone. To verify connectivity, close the Bluetooth configuration window and then click Command Prompt. Okay, go to laptop, click Bluetooth, uh, close Bluetooth, Command Prompt. Ping the gateway 172.16.1.1 Ping 172.16.1.1 And ping corporate office server Ping 192.168.1.10 Success! Add wireless connectivity to a home office. Okay, go back, back level, back and a remote worker for XYZ Corporation has just moved and the new house does not have a network set up yet. Your task is to set up a network to provide wireless access throughout the house and connectivity to the corporate office. Select and cable the devices, navigate to home city and click home office. Okay, this is the city, click on home office.
On the shelf behind the desk chair, there is a wireless router with external antenna. There is also a cable modem directly to the right of the wireless router. On the table in front of the couch, there is a laptop. Okay, this is the wireless router. This is the cable modem. This is another device. The cable modem and the laptop. Connections, copper straight through. Okay, connections. Uh, connect one end of the cable to port one of cable modem. Connect the other end to the internet port on the wireless router. Okay, select copper straight through cable, this, this cable. Click on the modem and use port one. And this port one is connected to the wireless router, click to internet. Okay, very good. Now you can see the connection. This is the connection. Navigate home city. Back level. Connections, coaxial cable. Home office, cable modem, port zero, and central office, central office wiring closet, rack, CMTS coaxial seven. Okay, remember this is the coaxial cable, click here. Home office, modem, and port zero, to central office, wiring closet, Rack CMTS coaxial 7. Okay, and verify. Click on Home Office. Now you can see this new connection, this gray connection to the to, to internet. Okay. And central office wiring closet. This is the CMTS device. This is the coaxial connection to the cable modem. Configure the wireless router. Okay. Back level. Back level. Home office. Click the wireless router. And Graphical user interface. The setup is already selected for internet connection type. Verify automatic configuration DHCP. Okay, here should be DHCP, the internet setup. This is the connection to internet. But for local area network, the network setup. Verify this configuration, IP address, net mask, DHCP enable, starting address, and maximum number of users. Okay, the IP address is very good. The subnet mask is very good, should be this. DHCP enable, very good. Starting is 100 in 50 users, very good. Scroll back to the top and click the status tab. Okay, click here on a status. Under internet connection, the wireless router should have DHCP addressing from the central office. If not, click IP address renew to resend DHCP messages. Now you can see uh, internet connection and you can see the address 181.68.62, subnet mask, default gateway DNS. Very good. Otherwise, click IP address renew. In my case, not necessary. Wireless stop.
click here up here wireless wireless tab configure to that for gigahertz network okay to that for and use this name home sweet home as the network name ssid home sweet home be careful home sweet home no spaces save settings save settings okay click wireless security wireless security here for 2.4 gigahertz security mode select WPA2 personal WPA2 personal it's not WPA it's WPA2 version 2 and then configure my secure net as the passphrase okay be careful case sensitive okay uh, this should be a yes and this my secure net case sensitive save settings save settings very good verify connectivity click the laptop config tab wireless interface on the interface okay click the laptop config wireless zero this is the wi-fi interface enter the ssid home sweet home home sweet home okay be careful home sweet home WPA2 PSK Richard Key and authentication method WPA2 Richard Key and enter the password my secure net case okay, sensitive my secure net On the IP configuration DHCP. Okay, DHCP. And now you have 182.168.0.100. So red mask 255.255.255.0. Very good. And maybe you may need to toggle between DHCP and static to resend DHCP request. In my case, not necessary. I got the uh, DHCP configuration. Desktop tab, command prompt. Ping to central office router. Okay, and desktop tab, command prompt. Ping to central office. 182.168.61 Okay, success Ping to corporate office server 110 Success Ping branch office server success okay, very good 
Reflection. What overall benefits does wireless technology provide to the end user? Wireless technology provides untethered access to network resources, freeing the user from the physical constraints of the traditional wired network. Which form of wireless networking is the most beneficial? Wireless technology should not be seen as one versus another, but rather how they can collectively contribute the overall goal of providing untethered access to network resources. A good example of this is seen in the activity where Bluetooth is used to tether a laptop computer to a, a smartphone, which then uses cellular technology to connect back to the central office and eventually to the desired resource. How could each of the following groups benefit from the various wireless technologies presented in this activity? Student, salesperson, R&D engineer, corporate executive. All groups enjoy the same benefits of wireless technology. Bluetooth, ability to communicate over short distances with network devices and peripherals. This includes a lot of things like headsets, printers, laptops, smartphones, etc. It can also be used to enable internet access for laptops and tablets through a smartphone's cellular network connection. Cellular ability to have long range untethered access to remote resources without the necessity of being in a location that has Wi-Fi or physical access. This includes a lot of things like corporate databases, printers, websites, etc. Because cellular technology has become widely available, it is often the only way to connect to corporate resources when physical connections such as cable and DSL are not available. Wi-Fi. This technology provides the same benefits as cellular technology but is confined to shorter distances and normally under the control of a physical establishment. It does not have the same coverage as cellular technology of enforcing people to relocate to a physical premise where Wi-Fi is provided thus reducing user mobility.